What's up guys? On today's episode, we are going to start ripping up the carpet and making plans to put some color on these walls. All right, that's right guys. Today, we're gonna start ripping up the carpets in preparation to start uh, sanding and staining the concrete. I think that's gonna give the best uh, effect, kind of elegant, nice look that I'm going for um, over something like a tile or a wood floor. Um, but it all depends on how hard it is to get the glue that sits underneath this carpet up. If we can't get it up and make it look nice, we might have to go a different direction, uh, but we'll cross that bridge whenever we get there. Later today, when Savannah gets off we're gonna go pick out some paint colors we'll bring you guys along for that and I also have uh, internet and phone going in today uh, just I've got to do some small stuff before I can get my business permit for this location uh, so I've got to start on this renovation cost so I can finally put a sign up in the window uh, and let people know I am officially here so uh, we're gonna start on this carpet um, I've never done this before so uh, YouTube and elbow grease. The floor is yellow, but that's not the natural color of the concrete. That's all glue. Um, so, I'm probably gonna have to get like some uh, paint stripper or floor stripper and go at this with a um, scraper, uh, maybe even a buffing pad or something. Um, it's probably gonna be a little bit more difficult than I originally anticipated, um, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not that big of an area. It's about 550 so square foot, so. Uh, hopefully I can get this knocked out in about a week or so, maybe even sooner. I'm not going to put a timeline on it yet, but uh, this is going to definitely be the biggest project out of the whole entire thing. So I've still got more carpet to rip up. I probably need to grab a, a mask. This carpet is old. It stinks. It smells, uh, smells like shit. Uh, it's terrible. And there's probably bodily fluids and dead ant carcasses and stuff like that in it. I don't want to be breathing that stuff in, so I'm going to try to find a mask. carpet ripped up and you can tell in here without the carpet in there there's a little bit of an echo you probably can't hear that because I've got my podcast going let me go turn that off speaking of podcasts what do you guys listen to I listen to Bill Burr Joe Rogan Joey Diaz uh, there's also the PhDJ podcast with Mike Walter and Joe Bunn that's pretty good um, I just try to listen to things other than music. Listen to a lot of music on the weekends because of the business. Um, so I try to listen to people talk or you know comedy or whatever. Uh, that's besides the point. So got all the glue up um, and the floors look pretty bad. Uh, a lot of glue um, that I'm gonna have to get up. I think it's gonna be a lot easier said than done. Kind of making me have second thoughts about putting uh, or staining the concrete. I think it would be the the coolest look 
but it's probably gonna be the most work too. I need to go to the hardware store to get the glue remover, but right now I'm waiting on my phone and internet guy to come and get everything hooked up and I've gotta be here for the next two hours. He's supposed to be here within the next two hours, so I need to find something in the meantime to occupy my time. Uh, let's see what we can get ourselves into. so we can start painting. Now I'm gonna tackle taking all this wallpaper off. Lord help me. So as you can see, all of the paper has been removed, but a lot of the glue is still there. I need to run to the store and get some, uh, some fabric softener, hot water and scrapers and get all of this glue off. It's really kind of crazy what YouTube will teach you. Uh, I don't know how to do any of this. I'm just kind of learning as I go. YouTube, internet, Google, all that stuff uh, has helped me out tremendously. I'm gonna, like I said, I need to pick up that fabric softener for uh, removing the glue of the wallpaper. I'm also gonna pick up some scrapers and some glue adhesive remover to get the glue off the floors so we can decide what exactly we wanna do with them. If it's too much and too time of, you know, time consuming and stuff, I'm probably gonna tile over it, um, but hopefully I'll be able to stain the concrete. I think that would be the ultimate look. So I'm gonna run to the store and I'll be back. Got my supplies. You know how they always say to test in an inconspicuous area? I'm actually gonna try that with this uh, glue remover because if it's not gonna work, um, I don't want to lay it over the whole floor and waste my time. So I'm gonna try it in like a little one foot by one foot area. If it doesn't work, we will move in a different direction. So here we go, nothing. sit for 30 minutes and come back and see how it does. Fingers crossed. I think we might have good news. Let's look at it. After only about 15 minutes, Put the scraper to it, and look at that. Boom. Yeah, I think this might work out, guys. I think this just might work out. The only bad part about it is this is a small section of a huge floor. So, it's going to take a lot of work. All right, everybody say hi to Savannah. She came by after work. She's going to help me get the wallpaper glue off. I think we got some bad news, guys. This is this is literally going to take forever. All right, so I started on this little test spot here, and that's all that came up. And if you can see this pile of yellow dust, that is what I've got to get up. So I'm not ruling staining the concrete out as of yet, but I just got to look and see what the time to, to look ratio is going to be. If we come in here, you'll see that I've started to try to remove the, the tile, but there's got some really sticky stuff underneath it. I think what I'm gonna do is buy a big can of like the mineral spirits uh, to soften that glue up and then 
let it sit for a couple hours, come back, revisit that tomorrow. But for right now, we're gonna try to get this stripped. I've got a meeting at seven o'clock. Uh, it's coming off pretty good. This is hot water and fabric softener. So Anna, would you say it's working pretty well? Yeah. Working pretty well. Um, and then of course, uh, we're gonna start painting and, uh, and all that stuff. So I'm gonna shut up and work. All right guys, look at all that. Look at all those chickens. But um, for real though, look at all this glue. Savannah is a rock star. She's also supporting, look at the DJ Wu Pig merch. Yeah. Uh, but we got all this stuff, uh, got all this stuff taken down. So we kind of are officially uh, ready for some paint, some primer. We got to patch some holes up. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, check this out. It's official. Got an office phone, internet, all that good jazz. Didn't get cable, because uh, what millennial watches cable anymore? Yeah, so uh, we are going to go pick up some paint and primer tomorrow. I am going to let the honey bunny, uh, let her help me pick out some paint, because uh, it's just as much her place as it is mine, and she's a woman, and they're good at like picking out colors and stuff. Um, so we're going to pick out some paint while she's at work tomorrow. I'm going to work on, uh, spackling up some of these holes. Um, what do you guys think about the ceiling? Um, I've been told that you can paint these ceiling tiles. I was thinking, Hey, if I can paint them, might be cool to go black, uh, black out the ceiling. That might be pretty okay. Uh, add a little bit of warmth in here to the office. I don't know. It's a possibility, but then again, then it might look like a cake. What do you guys think? I'm gonna put a poll up at the top. Let me know your thoughts. So all in all, we got a lot accomplished today. Um, I did talk to a contractor friend of mine. This uh, yellow stuff on the floor, I unfortunately, uh, he thought I was talking about like a small area when he told me to get a scraper. He said that would literally take me 17 years. Um, so he said I need to go rent a sander, floor sander, and I can probably knock it out in a couple of days uh, with some elbow grease. Um, so even if I decide to, to put like uh, wood tile or whatever, anything that goes on the floor, it needs to be sanded anyway. So I'm gonna have to run a sander. So we're still planning on staining the concrete and then sealing it. And I think it'll look pretty dope. So um, I will see you guys tomorrow when we go check out rental prices on a sander.